Hey everybody, my name is Aisha and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my September TBR. So, did you guys like the new intro? It's just for the Halloween season. For me, spooky season starts in September. So that's what we're going to celebrate here on Deja's Book World on my channel. So hopefully this video won't be too long because I have some updates for you guys. Because you guys probably noticed that I was gone for, a, by the time I posted, probably like three weeks. And the main reason, there's two. So the first reason was because I started school. So um, I wasn't reading as much, but I did still read. Um, my wrap-up should be coming after this video. Uh, I just wanted to make sure to put this up at the beginning of September since it's my September TBR. When I'm in school, I just get extremely lazy. Like, I don't really want to do anything besides, like, because school drains so much energy out of me. I am doing fully online virtual, at least for the first semester. So um, it just still drains a lot of energy out of me, and I was getting used to it. So I wasn't really starting to edit or film as much. But then just as I was about to film or an edit, uh, I got into a car accident. I got a concussion. They're not exactly sure if I did, but either way, I was getting headaches. I was in a lot of pain, and I like to look presentable in my videos. I don't normally look like this. If you see my vlogs, I kind of look crusty and dusty, but I wanted to really, like, I like to look presentable in my sit-down videos, so I just didn't feel like getting ready or filming or editing, and so yeah, that's just quick little updates. I should be getting back with content. I just am not going to be posting as often with school, but I still want to be here, and I still want to be present. Also, I was gone for three weeks, and I still Still went up 50 subscribers so thank you i've been hitting milestones like it was nothing and i just really am grateful for all the support that you guys have been giving me and we're getting up to a thousand subscribers soon so i'll definitely be doing q a's when i get there and um possibly a giveaway or something like that and um if you guys just want to keep up with me and talk to me i'm on twitter most of the time and i also do have a bookstagram and those are linked down below so whenever i disappear i recommend checking those because there's probably a reason why and i still am active on those enough with all the rambling i need to get into this because my tbr is more complex this month because i'm participating in becca's bookopoly or bookopolathon is what she's calling it i'll make sure to link her rules and everything down below it's the whole month of september uh i participated back in july when she did the 48 hour round i did a whole bunch of live streams on my channel just for reading sprints so every weekend this month for bookopolathon over on the twitter and discord and instagram and just all over they are having one person for host a 24-hour readathon for bookopolathon and they're taking over the twitter account and everything and i'm actually going to be hosting the last one so i'm super excited for that i will definitely be doing live shows and i will be hosting sprints over on the bookopolathon twitter now moving on into the rules sorry if it's blurry i tried to film it and the angle changed because the light started to come in and it was in the blinds and it was a mess okay but i did my best and i also lost all the audio but now i just did a voiceover for it so hopefully that's okay and i decided to go with six rolls for um, my tbr and i can show you guys i actually recreated the board on poster board one of the sides is looking crusty so i'm gonna show you guys that side so i recreated the bookopolathon board that becca created for the tbr and i'll link it down below it's like a little of what is it called she, she does say that yeah she she's does. forgetful i guess yes i messed up some of the places like where they're supposed to go for the properties but it's okay they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand and then here are my cards which are got mixed up but i had an even amount of community shelf and um chance cards so if i landed on one of these then i would choose a community shelf which just has other prompts on it and then the chance card is just other books that i put on from my tbr there's supposed to be like half books that you don't really want to read and half them that you do want to read but i was not trying to make myself do that because i know that i wouldn't read it if i didn't want to so i did some that i wasn't that pop like happy to read but most of them <laughs> were ones that i wanted to read but i included more that have been on my tbr for a long time roll one i rolled a six and it's hard to see but i got a double and i landed on dark cover so for roll one, we really kicked ourselves off good with a double, and doubles mean that you have to add another roll. So um, I am already up to seven rolls, even with just the first one. So I actually have a couple dark covers that I need to read this month, but I decided to go with 
but I decided to go with From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armantrout. I started hearing about this a couple months ago and people were loving it. I know that Just From Peace Love Books read this and loved it. What really pushed me to read it this month was um, two of my friends, Jalisa from The Names Jalisa and Christine from Editorial Edge. They are part of this group that we're in. It's just a whole bunch of um, women supporting each other and we have like a Twitter group and we do a lot of Zoom calls and things like that. They both read this book and they adored it but then Monet from Life is Monet she is um, also in the group. She's the one that started it and she gave this book two stars. So it really made me want to read it and I'm actually already about 30% into it and I'm not going to say my thoughts and all I have to say is that she's really chunky because I read 1% but it takes me so long. Like I'm used to reading in like 20 minutes. I can read like 4 or 5% but with this book I read like 2% in 20 minutes and it, I hate it but um, I'm not going to say whether I like it so far and I'll talk about that more in my wrap up. Roll two. I rolled an 8 and I landed on read a book with LGBT rep. So for roll 2, I landed on read a book with LGBTQ rep and for that I decided to go with Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Powers. This book has been one that came out a couple months ago and I read Wilder Girls by Rory Power last year and I enjoyed it but this book I picked up a couple months ago and I'm super excited to get to it and I think I'll like this one more. This is a YA horror that all I know is it has to do with corn and this main character she's queer. I'm not exactly sure if she's um like pan or bi or she is a lesbian but I know that she um, likes girls other girls and but I don't think there's really a relationship in here as much it doesn't really focus on that which I'm just excited to read a book that has queer rep in it but isn't like focused on that and I'm just super excited to get to this because I think that I'll really enjoy it roll three I got six and I landed on Becca Rec Okay, I hate holding books on this side. It doesn't feel natural. So I'm gonna switch back to over this side. I just prefer putting pictures on this side. So it's weird, whatever. But the next role that I got was Becca Rec. And I know that Becca loves Sarah J Mass in general. And I'm currently doing a reread of the Throne of Glass series with Emma from Emma is Reading, who I love her. She's great. I will bring her up later again. But um, we are moving on to the second book, Crown of Midnight. And I tab this book up when I read it the first time so I'm excited to see what all these tabs meant. I did tab Throne of Glass a little bit the first time that I read it. I read these two books probably like six to seven years ago probably a little more like six but this one definitely has more tabs and more tabs for specific lines the other one just had tabs up here but this one has both and so i'm excited to get to this because i remember enjoying this one a lot a lot of little hints from the first book ended up being revealed in this book and i'm super excited to just make a move on in this series and yeah i know emma right now she's in a reading slump we were supposed to buddy read from blood and ash but i think there will still be buddy reading this and I think we'll read it probably towards the end of the month hopefully when Emma's out of her reading slump. Roll four. I rolled a seven and I landed on read a sad book. So for my fourth roll I got read a sad book and for this I'm going to go with the butterfly garden and I'm not exactly sure if this is super sad but I know this has to do with kidnapping girls and one of them retelling the story afterwards so I think that is quite sad to me. I know this book I've heard is extremely messed up. The reason that I'm actually going to be reading this is because me and the Brains and Books girls, there's a whole bunch of us um, and I, as I said I'll link them all down below. We are going to be reading this book next week actually and we are all going to vlog it or whoever's participating is going to vlog it and we're all going to post our vlogs and none of them really like horror thrillers, none of that but I love them and, and so they wanted to try and just do something and get into it a little bit so they decided that if they were going to read a horror they didn't want to go light they were wanting to do it with their whole chest and they wanted to try and pick something that they thought would scare me and so they decided to go with the butterfly garden and i'm down and i think it's just gonna be really good it's quite short it's on kendall unlimited which is where i'm gonna be reading it and they also have it where you get, get you get the audiobook with it from audible so i'm super excited to read this book and i think it's gonna be really really good roll five i got eight And I landed on friend pick.
So the next world that I got was Friend Pick, and I actually got two Friend Picks, and I probably only get to one of them, but I still wanted to do both of them because I love both these people. The first one is Emma again, and Emma picked me a chunker she picked um, from Lukov with Love. She recently read that and loved it, so um, I know it's a chunker and I know it's a slow burn, so I might get to it, I might not, but we'll see. And then I also asked Nicole from Who Picked This Book. Nicole is one of the sweetest nicest people that i've ever met in my entire life she's literally so supportive and always is building other people up and i just please go support her and she recommended me a promise of fire by amanda boucher this is a fantasy romance and i think i'm actually going to include this on a secret tbr that i might be doing this and actually from look up with love as well and so i am probably going to be trying to do a secret tbr um, I probably will finish it in October, not September. So I don't know anything about this besides it's a fantasy romance. And I know that Charles from Books on Stereo also loves this and he actually sent this to me. So thank you, Charles. Charles is also extremely funny and I recommend his channel. He listens to mostly audiobooks and reads mostly romance. And his videos are quick, sweet, and to the point. They're all like under 10 minutes. So I really recommend his channel and I'll have him linked down below as well. So I'm super excited to get to this. Um, it's not super long it's about 400 pages and it is mass market paperback so it's shorter so i think that i'll really enjoy this one as well roll six which is supposed to be the last roll but i got a double i rolled seven and i landed on community shelf and i got read an arc for the prompt so for roll six i landed on community shelf card and for the prompt that i got was read an arc and i actually have like three arcs i need to get to this month but the first one that i thought that i would mention is here to stay and this book i don't know anything about um it is just a romance and that's all i know i know brie from brie hill i don't know if she's gonna come back or not but she's currently not posting but i'll link her instagram and everything down below because her instagram is amazing and i know she recently read this book but i don't know how she felt about it but i'm still excited to pick it up and get my net galley score back up roll seven i got a 10 which is another double so i have to add another roll and i landed on poc rep so for roll seven which was supposed to be my last roll um i landed on another double so it's going to be eight rolls and i got poc rep and i decided to go with intercepted by alexa martin which is the book club book for new to swoon which is a book club that emma and me host emma from emma is reading i know i mentioned her a lot so this is our first month doing new to swoon and we decided to do sports romances and the one that won the poll is intercepted um and so follow the twitter if you want to keep voting on the polls for what book we should read for that month and our live show for this book is going to be on september 27th at 7 p.m est and our guest is going to be brie from in love and words she's amazing she reads a ton of sports romances and so we're super excited to have her and chat with her um i know this is a football romance and i actually have read it um already but it's it's just go into it it's just a football romance and that's all you really need to know and roll eight i rolled a 10 again i landed on chance and the book that was picked was into the drowning deep by myra grant and then for my last roll number eight i got a chance card and so i put in a whole bunch of books obviously and i actually got into the drowning deep by myra grant but i'm super excited i actually picked this book because when it's out from the library and i need to return it soon and this is actually the book for september for the bad ish book club i <laughs> link them down below and i am super excited to read this book i've heard really really good things about it and i know it's like sciencey evil mermaids and as i said in my other video where i talked about this i want to be an evil mermaid that kills people So I think that I'll really enjoy this book a lot and I'm excited to get to it. So I know my TBR is already quite ambitious. I've been reading like at least like 14 to 15 books a month but school has started and my reading has slowed down but it's still, she's still chugging along but I'm gonna I'm a be ambitious. So the next books that I have are all ones that I need to read for some reason or another and the first one that I have is The Night Swim and this book I'm really hoping to read because um, I just want to and it recently came out and it has like true crime in it. I know this has trigger warnings for rape so um, I would be careful of that if you really want to read this but it has a podcast element and Kayla from Books and Mala is hosting like her last official round of the Buzzword Readathon and 
um, the word is night and I have a couple of other books with night but this is the one at the top of my TBR so hopefully I'll just read this one book and say that I participated but I just really want to get to this book in general and I think it's going to be amazing. The next book that I have to read is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabatier. I am hosting the Ember Along which is An Ember in the Ashes read along hosted with a whole bunch of other girls. I will put the announcement video that I made down below as well as linking everybody who's participating and I am super excited to reread this. I actually just read this in June and I loved it so I am probably just going to do like a quick little skim read because I do want to refresh myself but I just recently read it so I don't need to fully invest myself in it again but I am super excited and the live show for this is going to be October 3rd and it is um, going to be I believe at 3 p.m. EST but make sure to check the announcement video if you're interested and I'm just super excited and we also have a Twitter so these last two books I don't really need to get to but I would like to so this is editing Deja Realizing was stupid and I forgot to include one of the book club books that I need to read this month. So I am part of this book club called Stacks of Strange and we just created an official Instagram that I will have linked down below as well to everybody who is also a part of it. So um, this is our second official month and for the month of September we're going to be reading I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid and I don't know much about this book besides that it is basically about this girl who's on like this road trip through the snow to visit her boyfriend's family and she's thinking of ending things with her boyfriend like their relationship and so um i heard that it's really weird and really crazy but our live show for this is going to be september 4th at 4 p.m pst 7 p.m est and we're going to be doing a movie watch along the next day on friday september 25th at the same time so we're going to try and figure out how to do like some sort of netflix watch party and if you would like to join that because the movie just came out um check out the instagram because that's where we're gonna have all the information for it now back to me talking about something else and the first one is Salem's Lot by Stephen King. This is the Constantly Reading Book Club's book for September. And I just read my first Stephen King in July. And I just want to read more of his work because I liked it. But I think that I like some of his other books better. This one is a little bit big. It is over 600 pages but I think that I'll really like it and I'm really in a vampire kick um and so I'm just super excited to read this and read more of Stephen King's work and I'll link their information and their discord and everything down below so you guys can go join if you would like and I know that like they're reading a couple other books that I want to get to um soon like in November they're going to be reading 112263 which I really want to get to and that's one of the only other Stephen Kings that I own so if you are interested in just reading more Stephen King I will link everything for them down below. So I know my TBR is big and hopefully I'll get to most of it if not all of it and I already read one book for this TBR and one book I wrapped up from last month and I'm currently in the middle of two books but one of them is only on this TBR so um, I'm just really excited to read most of these books and a lot of them are books for book clubs and things like that and I'll have everything linked down below for every book club person or read-a-thon read-along that I mentioned in this video and I hope you guys enjoyed sorry if there's not going to be as many like memes or anything in my videos for a little bit it's just because like editing hurts a lot um because of my possible concussion so if there's not as many memes or anything i apologize i just want to edit as quickly as possible so yeah i hope this video wasn't too long and yeah thank you guys for everything and your support and i will see you guys in my next video bye you always posting the pictures trying to look like you winning i'm writing rhymes in the kitchen soaking in moments we live in yeah you got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I.